baby. Hi, welcome to WrestleJunkie.com. My name is R1S. I'm here at the revision booth. John, why don't you go ahead and show us off some of the new stuff and what, what you think would be work well with the Airsoft community? First off, this is the ExoShield Low Profile Goggle. It's extremely low profile. It's designed to be used with MVGs and as a, as a jump goggle, but it translates very well in the Airsoft world because of how low it sits. There's no way you can get a 6mm BB through this lens. This will stop 12 gauge from 16 feet. You have a good seal on the face all the way around. There's no way it can get through any foam. It's extremely thick foam. As you put this on, because it sits so close to your face, you're not going to lose any of your field of view. Up, down, side to side, you can see everything, and it's got a pretty killer anti-fog. What happens if the fog does start to settle in? Um, any ways to problem solve that? Or it's a good question. Yeah. If you have an anti-fog wipe, this little anti-fog wipe is a reusable little wipe. It's a dry wipe. You can use about 25 times. The coating is going to last you 8 to 24 hours. So it's reusable, yeah. It's a reusable guy. Just shove it back in that case. Uh, but a lot of operators, as they're using this goggle, they find that all they really need to do is kind of tilt it up, yeah. get a little bit of new air, let the humid air out, and it, and it takes care of any, any issues. A lot of the problem isn't necessarily fogging. It's such a good anti-fog coating. It's the sweat down the inside of the lens you need to get rid of. Okay. So, you're running around, you need, to, you need to release a little bit, tilt it up, drop Drain back it out, down, yeah. it should be okay. Um, but that, this anti-fog coating, the anti-fog coating plus the anti-fog wipe should take care of all, most of the problems. Nothing's fog proof, yeah. I'm not going to claim it's fog proof, but it's extremely fog resistant. Yeah, yeah. Also, next thing we've got going is the soft life photochromic lens. This lens is designed to be used if you're running from indoors to outdoors. This will change from light to dark in the presence or absence of UV. So UV is the catalyst to change the lens. As you can see, it's getting darker where the, where the light is. So it goes from totally uh, from its clearest state to its darkest state, about 20 seconds of normal UV light. This is a concentrated UV, UV light, so it's going to change pretty quick. Um, and then back to clear. About the same so this this is a solution. Instead of changing your lenses in now, this would be a solution for, for indoor and outdoor games. Yeah. D uh, dusk to dark. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Daylight to dusk dark or dawn to dawn to light. Also, we're looking at making this goggle on a photochromic as well. Yes. So now you'll have best of both worlds, full seal goggle for airsoft, plus the changing for uh, changing light conditions. Cool. Awesome. And then, uh, long awaited, I've been talking to me about this, the, the whole the face shield the system here that you guys have. This was born because our ballistics. This is a 12 gauge from 16 feet, so mil spec for ballistics. That's what this is also. Everything we do is mil spec for ballistics, but a lot of people would go, what about the rest of his face? You protected his eyes, but what about the rest of his face? And that's where this system is born. Mounts on the ACH helmet. This is our RNVG mount. So you can pop this off, it drops right on there like an NVG does. It comes up in stages. So then you can stage it, have ventilation on it, Slap it down as well. This has mil, this is mil spec for ballistics. This is actually a level three, same as the ACH helmet. This comes all separate and standard. And Revision makes this made right in the states. So mount to any helmet or you? Any, I mean, you the ACH helmet. The ACH, okay. The ACH helmet. Now is this for only military usage or can consumers? As, I mean, of, as of right now. Um, we're finishing production. Okay. It'll be mainly a military consumption product. Um, possibly, possibly uh, we can get into airsoft markets in, in the future. If we have it a bit. No, it's a long shot, but I mean, what's a shot? But I mean, that's something I, I think a lot of people would like, especially in that community. Absolutely. Oh, because I mean, the full face thing. I mean, that's the biggest thing. Face shield. Those BBs can stay. Yeah. And, uh, oh, oh, you want to protect it? You know? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's pretty it, it, quick. Wow, that's awesome. Good to know. Anything new in terms of the other lines, the Viper Tails? I know you guys have the, the aviator style glasses, right? Yeah, we have a few. We have the aviator style glasses this year. Um, some of our metal frame sport sunglasses, we want to give somebody something to wear off duty as well. Yeah. This is something, the, the Viper Tail sunglass, uh, mil spec for ballistics as well. 
That same nylon material, very flexible. It's a polycarbonate lens. It's extremely lightweight and a little bit lower profile as well. Nice. Mainly for military and uh, law enforcement. Part of the coloring is, is for military and law enforcement. It's a matte black with a smoke lens, so nothing too flashy. Uh, so you can wear it in uniform. Okay. Awesome. And then, I mean, do they come in a polarized version as well? Uh, Currently, we don't have a polarized version for the Viper Tail. Okay. We have a polarized version of the Soft Light. Or I'm sorry, the Health Line. Uh, it's a smoke lens with a polarized lens. This is a clear lens, but it'll be this style of frame with a polarized lens on as well. Awesome. Thank you very much, Sean. Absolutely. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for uh, letting me come by and check them all out.